Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to uh, learn about the design and simulation of loop antennas using CST. So, uh, let us discuss about the introduction of loop antennas. Uh, basically, loop antenna is nothing but uh, it is an RF current coil, uh, carrying coil uh, with single turn uh, is known as loop antenna. So, this type of antennas can be uh, used from 300 megahertz to the 3 gigahertz frequency ranges, right. As far as the shape of uh, uh, such type of antennas is concerned, uh, it may be in any uh, type of shape like circular shape, rectangular shape, triangular shape, square shape or even hexagonal shape according to the designer convenience. So, uh, rectangular, circular and triangular uh, loop antennas have been shown there. So, if we discuss about uh, uh, the design requirements or the formulas for the calculation of the uh, length of the loop, then uh, there are two standards for loop antennas. The first one for large loop antennas, the length of uh, loop must be equivalent to the lambda. Uh, but for small loop antennas, uh, length of the loop antenna must be uh, lambda by 10. So, uh, for example, if we are going to uh, design rectangular loop antenna, which is our uh, part 1 of this video and in next video, we will discuss about the design and simulation of uh, circular loop antenna. So, uh, let us calculate the value of length. Uh, for rectangular loop antennas uh, which is uh, operating uh, at 3 gigahertz. So, uh, if an antenna uh, is operating at 3 gigahertz, uh, then we know that c is equal to f lambda and if we have to calculate the lambda, then lambda will be equal to c over f. So, uh, c is the speed of light and its value is 3 multiplied by 10 raise to the power 8 meter per second and uh, 3 gigahertz is the frequency. So, 3 multiplied by 10 square 9 hertz. So, from here we can uh, calculate that lambda will be equal to 0 0.1 meter or you can say that it will be 100 millimeters, right. So, uh, total uh, length uh, uh, of the loop will be 100 millimeter and as we have to uh, design a rectangular or square loop antenna. So, for example, if uh, we have to design a uh, square loop antenna, then in case of uh, a square loop antenna, uh, all the sides will be equivalent. So, this 100 mm will be divided uh, to the 4 and the uh, length of each side will be 25 millimeters approximately, right. So, uh, let us start the design in CST. So, first of all, we will go to the modeling and then uh, we will define a break for rectangular uh, uh, rectangular loop or you can say that for rectangular uh, break. So, first of all, uh, first of all let us discuss about the values. As I have already uh, calculated that uh, uh, the total length of each side must be equivalent to the 25 millimeters, but here uh, if you can see that if we have to design a loop at center then for 25 uh, mm total length 12.5 must be on the negative axis and 12.5 must be on the positive axis. So, in that case we will uh, get the total 25 mm, but here uh, I have used the value of minus 14.5 to the 14.5. So, I have increased 2 mm. This increment is basically uh, to uh, tackle uh, this spacing which will be 2 mm, right. So, from where we have to uh, assign the port to that loop antenna, ok. So, these are the values as per the calculation and we have added simply 2 mm uh, for the gap uh, between the loop on one side, right. So, uh, start your CST and uh, click on new template. So, now or just click on microwave and RF and then just click on antennas as uh, you have to design loop antenna and loop antenna is basically a wire antenna. So, uh, just uh, select the wire. 
uh, for uh, larger or uh, thin wire antennas uh, you can use integral equation solver or you can use time domain solver it is up to you. Okay. So, just click on next and uh, then define the frequency as I have already uh, calculated the values uh, for 3 gigahertz. So, if uh, we have uh, 3 gigahertz uh, loop antenna then uh, its range must be between 2 to 4 or as per your convenience you can change the range as well, but we have to define uh, this antenna at 3 gigahertz. Okay. So, we will have to calculate the far field monitor as well for gain and radiation pattern. So, these are the ranges just so just click on next uh, check the values and just click on uh, finish your project will be started. So, first of all uh, go to the modeling and uh, you have to uh, define a brick. Uh, you can define it in different ways, but uh, I think uh, if we define uh, a larger brick uh, in our first step and then uh, uh, we define smaller uh, bridge in uh, next step, then uh, you can easily uh, define a square loop. For example, uh, if I define a larger loop and its uh, values are ranging from minus 14.5. Uh, to the 14.5 as we have calculated and discussed. So, it is scare loop. So, uh, you will take similar values and uh, let us say it is uh, it length or uh, you can say that what will be the thickness of the loop. So, thickness of the loop uh, 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 cannot affect the values of frequency or by changing the uh, thickness of the loop frequency cannot be shifted. Uh, and the gauge of the wire uh, can be selected uh, as per your own choice. Okay. So, uh, we have uh, taken it as a 2.5 mm right and material will be perfect electric conductor. Okay. So, just click on preview and just click on ok. okay. So, uh, in this step uh, we have designed a larger uh, brick so, in next step if we define a brick inside this brick and we can uh, subtract that smaller brick and uh, we will easily uh, design a scare loop in this way. So, just uh, go to the second step define another brick and we have to cut or we have to subtract that uh, uh, bridge. So, first of all uh, for the subtraction of this brick uh, we have to define a smaller one. So, as we have taken minus 14.5, but now we will add a 1 mm gap. So, on negative axis uh, when we will add uh, plus 1, uh, so automatically it will move toward the right side and from this uh, x min axis 1 mm loop will be obtained. Similarly, on positive x axis or larger loop uh, has been defined at the end of 14.5 but if we subtract 1 mm then it will go back or you can say that it will be shifted toward the left side right. So, it will also provide the gap of 1 mm. So, in a similar way you have to define uh, these values uh, for uh, y uh, for y max and y min values as well. Okay. So, this plus 1 and minus 1 uh, will produce the gap of 1 mm for loop right and again we have to uh, take uh, the values of z min and z max and it will be same. Now, uh, you can change the material for example, if uh, 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 you can define the nickel here then automatically when we will uh, check its preview and then we will uh, press ok then it will show an extra dialog box and through this extra dialog box we can easily cut away the highlighted shapes because two metals cannot be merged in each other. Okay. So, just click on ok. So, in this way we have easily uh, we have easily constructed a loop. Okay. So, in next step uh, we have to uh, uh, define another brick. Uh, to cut a portion or you can say that to cut a specific portion in order to define a wave port excitation. Okay, so, now 
just go to the modeling and just uh, click on uh, a brick or now you can name it as a cut tool ok. So, as we have already discussed that we have to uh, define uh, the port uh, between the two points and uh, distance between the, these two points must be 2 mm right. So, if we define it in uh, at the center, so it must be from uh, minus 1 to plus 1 right. Similarly, if we uh, discuss about the y min and y max position, we know that uh, y min position is basically minus 14.5 ok. So, that is basically uh, our uh, negative access point if we want to define the waveguide port here on negative y axis ok. However, you can define uh, it on positive y axis or even at x axis uh, it is your choice uh, whatever you want to define. So, y min will be equal to minus 14.5 and if we add uh, plus 1 in this minus 14.5 then it will cover the uh, cover its upper part as well. So, in this way we can uh, cut this uh, rectangular waveguide and uh, further we can uh, define the waveguide port here ok. So, uh, the value of z mean and z max will be same as we have already defined and material will be nickel as we want to cut it away. So, you can observe the preview and uh, just click on ok. So, now you have to uh, cut the highlighted shape and in this way we have uh, successfully designed a uh, scale loop in just 2 or 3 steps alright. So, now we have to define uh, the uh, discrete port here. So, in order to define the discrete port here, first of all go to the view and uh, you have to uh, zoom it in and uh, then uh, from simulation or from modeling uh, you can uh, pick the point and you have to pick the face center and you have to uh, pick the face center on the both si sides. So, uh, I have selected uh, the face center of the one side now just uh, rotate it and again go to the simulation and uh, go to the pick points and just select pick face center or you can use the shortcut key A as well ok. So, now I have uh, selected uh, two face points and between these two face points I can define easily uh, the discrete port right. So, just go to simulation and just click on discrete port. So, all the values are given uh, and we have uh, used the pick points and uh, the impedance of this discrete port is 50 ohms right and we have to uh, uh, define the port type as a S parameter ok. So, just click on preview and just click on ok. So, as I have uh, already defined it is uh, uh, field monitors. So, we can easily check the gain and S parameters. So, uh, just go to home and now you can start its simulation ok simulation has been completed. So, now uh, let us discuss about the results of this antenna. Uh, first of all uh, let us check the S parameter result of this antenna and uh, you can observe that it is exactly uh, working at 3 gigahertz however you can optimize the results as well right. Similarly, uh, let us check uh, the results of its gain. First of all, uh, its gain is about 3.39 dB. Ok, so you can uh, minimize it and you can check the gain for this antenna and it is almost omnidirectional pattern, right. So, that is uh, the gain of this antenna. Similarly, you can check the radiation pattern of this antenna and uh, you can also check the current flow of this antenna. Uh, just click on the animate field and then you can check the uh, current flow of this antenna. So, that is all about uh, uh, the scare loop antenna which is operating at 3 gigahertz. Ok, so uh, subscribe our channel for our latest videos as well. Uh, thank you for watching.